Hello, I'm Dr. Maureen Markman from the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. And I'd like to briefly discuss a, a very interesting paper that appeared in Clinical Cancer Research um, last month. Uh, the paper was entitled Predicting Clinical Outcome in Patients Diagnosed with Synchronous Ovarian and Endometrial Cancer. The paper uh, discussed a, a relatively common problem um, in the diagnosis of women with gynecologic cancers. That is of a woman uh, who is found at surgery or at the combination of surgery and pathology, final pathology, to have a disease in the ovary and in the uterus. And the question is, uh, is this uh, two separate primaries, dual primaries, or is one dealing with a metastatic disease from uh, one uh, site to another? This paper uh, really did a detailed analysis of a group of women. Uh, there was a total of 90 cases. And they were able to, uh, with histology and with uh, genetic uh, uh, testing, uh, able to define uh, a very clear diagnosis in 88 of the 90 cases, uh, whereas histology alone, they were only able to make a diagnosis in 64 cases. What the um, uh, investigators found was that about two-thirds of these cases actually were uh, dual primary, and uh, about 25% uh, were uh, metastatic disease. Uh, which, which in itself is an interesting finding. They also found that uh, individuals who had dual primaries uh, had a superior outcome from patients who um, actually had metastatic disease uh, as the cause of the lesions and uh, that individuals who had metastatic disease from the uterus to the ovary had a superior outcome than uh, uh, individuals who had uh, metastatic disease from the ovary to, to the endometrium. Uh, uh, perhaps the greatest importance uh, the investigators have demonstrated in this very nice paper that with both uh, a uh, look at uh, standard pathology and with uh, uh, genetic testing of the tumors, it is possible in the large majority of cases to come up with a definitive diagnosis of one that one is dealing with a, a case of metastatic disease or dual primaries, which could certainly help in uh, the uh, planning of uh, appropriate treatment. I would encourage you to read this paper, which appeared in the September 15th issue of Clinical Cancer Research, uh, volume 14, page 5840. A very interesting paper. I thank you for uh, listening.